Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Sonner here with head men's lacrosse coach Brian Welch. Coach, it's been a tough stretch for you guys. Injuries, a young team. There's a lot of things that we can use as excuses, yeah. but this team continues to work. They continue to try to get better every single day, and that's with the young program. That's all you can ask for. Oh yeah, no, it, it, exactly. I mean, you, you look at you know a year ago. You know, you're barely getting by. You know, you you know accomplishments of if you score during a game. You know, that was almost like a win for us. You know, it's just trying to get better every day. Um, just trying to work on the little things. Really, um, we knew this was going to be a few bumps in the road, especially with the young squad because that's what you're going to see um, and, and then it's also with them too it's kind of the ebbs and flows too I mean you know the, the highest of highs and the lowest of lows I mean really you know we've been in games I mean there's a few games that you wish you could you know, have back but uh, they compete really hard and you know for me you know, I, I couldn't be any prouder of them. And part of that is just learning how to win at the college level you have so many kids coming from the high school level and it's a hard transition you may have been the best player on your team in high school now you're playing a bunch of kids that were the best on their high school teams or best in their areas, depending on where you're from. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's just, you know, this conference, too, is, you know, especially very top-heavy, um, you know, with Aurora, Benedictine, um, even, you know, Marion, that's got a humongous squad, too, that's got, you know, almost 40 guys. I mean, they, they've got, you know, the best of the best, you know, and with us, you know, we're you're still meshing along, you know, it, it's great to have you know, four guys from Utah that have played together. Um, but, uh, you know, honestly, it's, for us, it's just we have to focus and on the little things and getting back to, you know, CUC uh, lacrosse. And really, it, it starts from the top up with me and Coach Luck. And, you know, Coach Luck has done a tremendous job with the defense, which, you know, I, I'm forever grateful for him um, for taking the reins on that. And then just offensively, we've just kind of been the funk because, you know, I, I look at last Wednesday's game where the defense, we've been, you know, we're out two of our top, you know, defensive starters, and they kept us in the game. Just offensively, we just didn't get together. And that, and that, falls a lot on my shoulders you know I, I put them in the wrong position to to get them there you know wish we had it back but you know we're, we're back at it you know tomorrow and I'm sure you guys are excited about that how have the guys bought into the culture with some to young squad this year and kind of going forward and helping make those steps not saying that we're discounting the last portion of this year at mm -hmm. all but you what you're doing now creates what's going to begin again next fall. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, with, with them, they know that this is a building process. You know, they, we, we've, we've got the foundation now. Um, you know, we still feel that there's some winnable games left on, on the schedule, which definitely, you know, starts with tomorrow. But uh, they know that hard work, you know, that that's the, the staple of uh, Concordia Lacrosse and, you know, the brotherhood. We, you know, every game, you know, we go before uh, each game and talk about, you know, what's, we pick one player that says, you know, what's this program mean to them and what's the coaching staff mean to them? You know, we have our own little saying too, you know, why not us? And, you know, I, I still think, you know, most of our goals pretty much are still intact, you know, um, we're, you know, hopefully still be right in that middle of the group of the conference and, you know, the next year anything can happen. Well, we look forward to seeing you and your team back out on the field. Cougar fans, CUC takes to the field once again tomorrow afternoon here in River Forest. If you can't make it to the games, you can always find all the live links at cucougars.com slash coverage. For head coach Brian Welch, I'm CJ Selner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.